The Obama administration announced today new steps to try to solve the immigration crisis that's happening on the Texas-Mexico border. But Governor Perry wants the White House to do more to stop the surge of illegal immigrants. He sent a letter to the president asking him to send an additional 1,000 National Guard troops to the border. Perry also wants uh, predator drones and more helicopters to patrol the area, and he wants the National Guard to have the power to make arrests. He's also asking for assistance to evaluate the health conditions at crowded detention centers. The request comes after the Obama administration announced it will open new detention facilities to hold families caught crossing the border. These are mostly moms and children. It's unclear how many or where, where those centers will open. About 39,000 adults and children have been arrested at the border since last October. And once those facilities are up and running, uh, we will then deploy a similar surge of judges, asylum officers and attorneys to more quickly and efficiently deal with their, those immigration cases. Governor Perry announced extra funding to send a surge of state DPS troopers to the border two days ago, and local charities in North Texas have also gotten involved. Fox 4's Larry Berger has more on Catholic Charities in Fort Worth, which is preparing now temporary shelters for these children who are coming this way. Lots to escape violence. Larry. Well, that's right. They got the call that they needed to increase their space here. They're not expecting a huge number to come all at one time, but because of that crisis at the border, they are expecting those 32 beds to be used over and over. Catholic Charities CEO Heather Reynolds says many of the children crossing the border are fleeing increasing violence in their homelands. The agency cared for an eight-year-old girl last year from Guatemala who was a victim of human trafficking and said she saw friends who were murdered. She would talk about um, how the kids in her neighborhood would all go missing. And um, she would say that they would be returned to the doorsteps of hers or the other neighbors, um, and they wouldn't have hearts anymore. Last year, Reynolds Agency cared for 200 unaccompanied children. They're expecting more now that South Texas is the busiest border crossing in the country. Catholic Charities Fort Worth is doubling its capacity to 32 beds specifically for those kids who come here programmed by their families how to find their relatives. And they have memorized a phone number. I think that's the one thing that's drilled into their head as they leave uh, for their journey is um, a phone number. This is who you call when you get to the United States. It, it Mostly at that age. Sergio Chassin works on the charity's legal side. He says, unfortunately, many of the children won't qualify for legal protection and may be sent home. With asylum, it's not a general thing. You cannot say... My country is messed up, or in my country there's a lot of violence or need. You have to say, I'm being persecuted specifically. I'm being targeted. Catholic Charities keeps the kids for two to four weeks until they can be placed. After that, they don't keep track. But they say they have gotten phone calls from family, thanking them for what they've done. What these kids have been through is, is absolutely horrific, and the fact that um, our country can welcome them and that we can ensure they're cared for um, it is, is wonderful. And Catholic Charities has a lot of resources in-house to help take care of those children. While they're here, they say what they need is qualified foster families who can accept those children into their homes once they leave here. Heather? Laurie, it's so sad for those kids. How many actually end up with family? Well, this was a surprising number that we heard today. Of those 200 that they helped last year, apparently enough of them came with those phone numbers memorized because they only had three of them that had to go to foster families. That's encouraging. Surprising. You're right. Only three out of that, that high of a number. All right. Larry Berger, live for us tonight. Thank you.